Today, I want to talk to you about understanding your audience. Every moment is a teachable moment. So when you are voicing a script, it's very, very important for you to understand, number one, who you are. But even more important sometimes is who you're talking to, because that's going to then dictate the type of voice and the nuance of emotion, tone, pacing of who it is that you're speaking to. So if I'm talking to an adult, I'm probably going to talk faster and maybe more on my base conversational voice versus, let's say, a 10 year old where I may talk a little bit more animated and I may talk a little bit slower because I want to make sure that I'm able to communicate effectively with them. Right. So, for example, if I have a corporate script and I decide that I work for the company and I'm talking to a potential client that's interested in my product, I don't want to waste a lot of time speaking slowly to them, nor do I want to speak in kind of a monologue, know-it-all kind of a sound because it's important for me to be on their side and to explain to them how the product or service is going to help them and help them be better, do better, do their job faster, be more efficient. So the last thing I want to do is waste their time because as adults, we're all very, very busy, especially if we're working and we've got 20,000 other pieces of information flying in our direction, trying to get our attention. So it's important for us to know I'm speaking to someone who doesn't have a lot of time. So I want to make sure that I come to them with here. I can help you with this solution, with this product, with this service. And I'm not going to waste your time, but I'm going to be on your side to help you. If you go into a sound where you are more knowledgeable uh, or that you know more than the person that you're talking to, that might be off-putting to them. So it really makes a difference if you know who it is. And when you're figuring out who it is that you're talking to, try to pick just one person. Because if you pick a group of people, then likely you're going to be standing at the lectern or standing in front of the, you know, on the stage, reading a PowerPoint to them. And that is not necessarily the most entertaining, nor is it the most engaging sound that you can have when you're speaking to your audience. If you have ever presented in your life, then you know that it's always good to make eye contact with a member of the audience, one member of the audience. And you basically shift that to all different areas of the audience so that at any given time you're speaking to one person. When you do that, it makes it much more personal to them. And so again, knowing who you're speaking to and then making it very personal to them, it really makes it much more engaging and much more interesting rather than, oh, well, she's talking to this guy over here. It doesn't pertain to me. So make sure that you know who you're talking to, understand what their pains, what their joys, what their frustrations are, and then accordingly change your emotion, change your nuance, change your point of view so that you can be someone who services their needs and can solve their problems. Also, when you're talking to that one person, make sure that you know that person and have enough depth of knowledge about the person's pains and joys and frustrations. You can have a very customized and very personalized conversation and the subtext that flows through that copy or that storyline can really affect them and them alone. So it's not just, you know, again, standing at a lectern talking to everybody because they want to feel special. They want to feel like you care about them because if you care about them, they're going to care about you. So listen to that subtext that speaks directly to your audience. I hope these tips have been helpful. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.